This video will show you how we can use sine and magnitude to represent positive or negative numbers in binary. So what we're going to do is we're going to just have a look uh, down here. Why is my phone not working? Okay, that's interesting. So let's just put my navigator across in the right place. And we'll start recording this. This is fine. So this video we're going to learn how to use sine and magnitude binary. Now sine and magnitude basically reserves the most significant bit, which in this case would be 128, the largest number, to represent whether it's positive or negative. And 0 is positive and 1 is negative. Now the limitations of sine and magnitude is that once we take away the 8th bit, we're limiting the, the values that we can represent. So 1272 minus 127, so this, the size of the numbers. But you can see the range, if you added those two together, is still pretty much the same. Okay, so if we were going to convert the number 78 into normal, into, as a positive number, we use the same process that we convert normal binary. So first of all, we put a 0 in here, and then we do is 78 bigger than 64, which it is, so we put a 1 in there, and our remainder is 14. And then we just go along the columns, so 0, 0, we know that's 8. So the remainder is 6, and it's 1, 1, 0. Okay? So if we want to represent negative 78, it's exactly the same process, but what we do here is we put a 1 in the first column, and then we do the same process. So 1, and the remainder is 14 again, so we do 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And what we have here is positive 78, and in here negative 78. And the limitations of this is that We've obviously lost uh, the range that we can represent because it's only 127 to negative 27. And obviously the reason we don't use it very often is that sometimes the additions don't come out with the answers that we want. And that's why we use 2's complement for addition, which is in another video.